Hello, I'm just back from Narnia, where I had a holiday, Mr. Tumnus, Aslan, all those guys. And as you know, airports are places for Wi-Fi and all sorts of evil energies. Now, in your life, you're going to come across Syria on a live verse, famous people that you do not know of, and people with six nipples without even realizing it. But you know what you will realize during your life? The funniest marketing scam done by a celebrity. So funny that you won't even believe that he actually pressed post. Now, I'm sure you know who this person is. Russell Brand, you came across him once or twice, either in a movie, stand-up comedy, or social media. Like, oh, it's that uh, hippie guy. I personally watched a couple of his movies. They were pretty good movies back then until he stopped making movies because he was canceled on the accused of uh, shakalaka boom boom without consent, accused of SA, emotional abuse of four women between 2006 and 2013. That is when... He went full hippie mode, absolutely fried his brain, and went into politics. I guess it is true, you don't know where life's gonna take you. Now this guy just last month posted an advertising, and he started a TikTok channel. TikTok decided to let him do whatever he wants to do, and I wish you could... I cannot go through all the videos on his TikToks, but I want you to go watch his videos and you realize what kind of a person he is and you won't be surprised the way he market scammed his audience now who russell collaborated with and advertised the brand is a magical according to him it's a magical amulet and the way he advertises amulet a magical amulet he is one second away from saying that this amulet is going to turn your fart is into flowers it is going to make it smell good hello i'm just back from narnia where i had a holiday mr tumnus aslan all those guys and as you know airports are places for wi-fi and all sorts of evil energies think of all the phones out there all of the signals corruptible and corrupting luckily i wear this magical amulet from airstech that keeps me safe from all of the various signals out there and also means look at this look how strong i am i think this is making me more, more powerful today's the day i found out that i should should have been dodging all the Wi-Fi signals coming towards me instead of trying to connect to them whenever I'm in public because apparently Wi-Fi phones frequencies they are going to hurt you take your phone right now and throw it in the garbage you sitting in front of your watching this on the phone watching it on the moderate monitor you are harming yourself you are going to live until 90 well guess what you are only going to live until 60 right now because of the frequencies that are harming you. Now, it is true. The frequencies aren't that good for you. But according to the World Health Organization, they said that the users of mobile phone encounters field levels that are much higher than any levels in the normal living environment. However, even these increased levels do not appear to generate harmful effect. And according to them as well, current evidence does not confirm the existence of any health consequences from exposure to low-level electromagnetic fields. Meaning next time you come across a Wi-Fi, do not run away from it because you think it has evil energy. Just connect to it and you will be fine. Now, this is like a belief. There's no evidence of it, but they believe that in the mobile phones, there's like a, you know, a level of frequencies that are harmful for you. But you know what else is more harmful than the frequencies from your mobile phone? Taking your mobile phone away from you. Even myself, just picture this. Imagine they take away your phone. How would you react? How would you go through your day without no phone? One day, one week, one year. The effect that is going to have your, on your mentality, it is worth it. It is worth I'm sorry if English left the chat. I haven't slept for 24 hours. I am not on anything in case any of you want to comment down below why your eyes are red. Anyways, living a life without mobile phone after you've been exposed to it, it is worse than leaving any drugs. And the funny thing is scrolling through Instagram reels and TikTok videos, it is more harmful for you than these mystical, magical frequencies in the air. Now, the product he's promoting is these necklaces that you wear around your neck, and it is going to punch any frequencies, shut off them if they come close to you. And their main goal is to reduce the potential harmful effects of artificial EMFs by, I don't know what the fuck any of these means, by creating an environment that supports the body's natural electromagnetic activities while not inter interfering with the wireless devices 
communication functionalities. I think this is making me more, more powerful as a matter of fact. Look at that. This stuff is absolutely packed with AS10. I didn't even bring any socks or toothbrush or dog meat or anything like that. Just completely full of AS10. You should get one as well, particularly if you're planning to go to an airport anytime too soon because the bloody things are full of lethal signals. AS10, a glorious amulet to protect you from corrupting signals. And another thing we learned about this magical necklace is that it will give you magical powers too gym you never been to the gym you look like a chopstick do not worry you always wanted to john cena and your siblings but they were just too chubby and you couldn't carry them because your back would have broke and you would have died well do not worry with this magical necklace you will have magical powers and you will have magical strength and guess how much this product is going for 240 dollars now, I don't know if you realize this, but what we have over here is a lunchly situation. People don't have a problem with the product. They have a problem with the way it's been advertised. As we talked about it in the last couple of videos that we talked about lunchly, this is the way he's advertising. Now, I don't know, AirTech, whatever the hell this company is. I don't know if they're legit or not. The company itself explains the whole thing that it's a live stream flex is a company's most versatile emf uh, protection solution that is designed to carry along with you to keep close by for cons constant coverage from electromagnetic radiation now what mr russell tried to do was put satire at a little bit of humor to this whole thing and advertise it and people are gonna have a good laugh about it but he was serious as well with the whole evil energy around you you don't want evil energy you wear this necklace you see any radiation comes towards you it is going to hiss at it and you are safe and you will live a long healthy happy life but one thing this mr donkey failed to realize is he's wearing a mic around him he's he has the whole thing around he is exposed to all the radiation frequencies electromagnetic fields of the fields it's all uh, how is is it protect <laughs> so the only thing he promoted in this video is he made him stronger because the frequencies are around them and he's still being harmed there's no getting away from it even if this whole radiation is true which i think it is but even if it's true you, there's just no getting away with it it's fine there are shit ton of th other things that are going to unalive you sooner. Just like the smoke you're having right now. Just like the junk food you're eating and watching. The yes, you. I I'm talking. Just like that you're eating right now and watching this uh, video. And you expect people to spend $250 on a necklace? The problem is, the funny thing is, people already spent on this shit. Because I decided to put my detective code once again and go full investigation mode. $115, $109, $400 for a ring, $86, $900 for the angel's ring. Oh, it has free shipping too. Who's going to deliver it? The angels? I'm sure if you ask them what is it made of, they will tell you it is made out of an angel's flesh when he came down to me exactly and he told me you need to start a business angel sacrificed itself to have multiple rings because wanted this guy to succeed in his business and sell it for 900 dollars and protect the people because that's what it's all about 120 dollars 15 dollars 221 timu will sell it to you for 50 cents what is this 318 172 220 it's actually not a bad idea to get to this whole thing you know the amount of money you can buy but if i want to start a business i will not go through this whole uh magical necklaces but instead what i will do is get ready are you afraid of dying alone no one by your bedside holding your hand in your last minute and telling you how much they love you and they had such an amazing life with you are you afraid of dying a virgin because it, a virgin thing is very true people say oh no there's someone for someone out there do not lose hope well they lied because my grandpa died as a virgin true story are you afraid of getting no bitches are you afraid of not ever being funny in your life never having a six-pack in your life well do not worry i have one product that is going to change all of that introducing to you the devil's fart one spray of this bad boy and all your wishes all your dreams are gonna come true I'm gonna fucking pay for this in the afterlife. <laughs> now, I'm not saying it's a scam because I don't know enough about the whole, you know, the tech, the does it actually protect you from frequencies? Does it not? But one thing I can definitely tell you is you do not need to spend $240 to protect yourself against frequencies. 
you'll be fine. But anyways, Russell, since then, has deleted the whole ad. I don't know if the company asked him to remove it or he just removed it himself after people started mocking him. But it is no longer there. He hasn't made any response about it. I just thought it was very funny and I would just wanted to share it with you. As usual, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscription if you're new here. Regarding Ironhide, I told you if you sub. I haven't slept for 24 hours. I was at my job in the morning and I was making YouTube videos at like 3, 4 a.m. So I haven't had the time to look for Ironhide and feed him. But today when I wake up at nighttime, I'm going to look for him. And then the next YouTube video, you are going to see Ironhide full of belly fat and a V8 engine heated up. Anyways, take it easy. I'll see you at the next one.